Dear brothers, don't believe mainstream Christianity today. Don't believe the mainstream Christian churches that tell you that salvation is unconditional. It is a big lie. The Holy Scriptures mention that in the last days there will be doctrines of demons. These doctrines are destined to do one thing, to convince people that they can live the way that they want. They can keep living in willful sin and they will still be saved. These doctrines, like once saved, always saved, and Calvinism, they convince people that there's no way they can lose their salvation, even if they go back to willful sin. And many people swallow these lies. These doctrines will deceive many, and they will lead countless souls to hell. In reality, brothers and sisters, salvation is conditional to our repentance. Salvation is conditional to our willingness to turn away from our own ways, to turn away from our wickedness, to depart from iniquity. Many times we are warned not to be deceived. Many times we are warned that if we keep living in fornication, adultery, idolatry, if we are interested in living in the flesh, pleasing our own selves, pleasing our flesh by committing deliberate sin, we are warned that we will not inherit the kingdom. Don't be deceived by these mainstream churches. The devil is hiding in doctrine. He is using church doctrine. He is preaching in these churches. And many people are swallowing the lies because they are not believing the words of Jesus Christ. They are not guided by the Holy Spirit and they are not interested. They want to keep living the way that they want. And they think they're going to be saved. The only way, brothers and sisters, we are going to be saved is by turning away from ourselves, by denying ourselves, by turning away from sin. Then, when we come to Jesus, when he fills us with the Holy Spirit, we need to continue yielding to the Holy Spirit. It is by the power of the Spirit that we can overcome. We cannot do it by ourselves. We always need the Holy Spirit to continue. And if we continue until the end, we will be saved. But don't let anybody deceive you by telling you that you don't need to do anything. That it's not up to you. That God himself will save you and you don't need to respond. God calls and draws us first, but we always need to respond. We always need to answer the call. Jesus says, many are called, but few are chosen. Out of the many that are called... Few are going to be chosen, brothers and sisters. Continue on the narrow way. Don't get distracted and don't let these mainstream churches deceive you. We are in the last days and we are living in a time where demonic doctrines are everywhere. Don't let yourself be deceived. Always go back to Jesus. Read the words of Jesus. Pray to him and you will know that you need to stay with him. Remain faithful to him and continue until the end. If you endure with Christ until the end, you will be saved. And there is no one that can steal away your crown. Stay with Jesus. Remain faithful. What you believe, brother and sister, is your own choice. Don't let them deceive you. And may God bless you.